What's up, Scrappy Peeps? Guess what? It's the freaking Inky June Marathon. If you haven't heard of it before, I did it last year and I'm doing it again this year. I'm back, a video every single day of June and I'm so freaking excited. So this first one is a grab five. Now, when I do a grab five, I just pick five things from my stash, some things used, some things not used, and I use them all in one layout. So here I've got the um, Amy Tan paper pad, which is at the back there, the 12 by 12 from her latest collection. I have also got these chipboard word thingies from Studio Calico from their seven paper line. Those turquoise punctuation marks, I have no idea how I'm going to use them, um, but they came in a mystery Studio Calico kit that I think I bought in their sale. There's some little, also from Studio Calico, there's a lot of Studio Calico things because I just got a haul from them. Um, some little stickery things and some Project Life cards from Studio Calico too. But guess what? You're not getting one video. You're getting freaking two Grab 5 videos. It's going to be exciting. So this week with these Grab 5 things, I've decided to do a Project Life page. And then next week, I'm using the same objects to do another video. I think it's next week. If it's not next week, it's soon. I'm scheduling these first few ahead of time, so I think it will be next week's one. But what I always do first is I go through my cards to try and find out which one works where. And this is a layout that starts, is this a start? Oh no, this is in the middle of my birthday camping trip. My friends and I went away and we went camping and it was incredible. There were just, there were kangaroos everywhere and it was just a beautiful spot. We went down to Katai National Park, down kind of Sydney way, I think. I don't know. It was about an hour, over an hour away. I think it was Sydney. I think it's classified as that area. I'm um, using the cut apart here from the Amy Tan paper pad. And I love, love, love her scripty font. So I knew I had to use it. And this little one says, good friends. Does it say good friends? Make good times better and that they do and that they did so my group and friends and I we just had a really nice relaxing weekend because so often we don't get to catch up a lot because we all live in different um, parts of the east coast of New South Wales so Aaron and I are in the middle which is our original hometown where we all like went to high school together um, and then we have friends that are an hour and a half south and friends that are an hour and a half to two hours north. So it's really, it's quite rare that we all get together, but we we're all there this time and it was just fabulous. So this is simply a pretty filler card. So I'm using these gorgeous, gorgeous florals. I absolutely love them. And I'm trying to pick ones that were together in a cluster already. Um, so you can see here, I'm using some really, really fussy little scissors to make this cutting so much easier. <laughs> um, I cut everything with my giant scissors. I can't cut, I can't fussy cut with little scissors. Now, someone asked me the other day in my Facebook group, Scrapaholics Anonymous, um, what fussy cutting was. Fussy cutting just means cutting out little designs using scissors. That's what fussy cutting is. But I'm going to rename it I'm going to call it oh, stick with me I'll come up with a name while I'm filming this voiceover and I'll tell you at the end anyway this layout this sorry this card is just becoming a pretty little filler so I decide to stick that little quotey bit down and I'm using the quotation marks for the quote <laughs> I guess that's what they're intended for um, to just add a little bit of turquoise because it is my favorite color and then these flowers I they could go every which way but I decided to pop them there and I think I put them on foam off camera so that you didn't yeah I did so that you didn't have to watch me sticking down all of that foam and I really like this card it just it's just a cute little just a little bit and this is from the Amy Tan cut apart as well so I'm just cutting it out and using it as an embellishment because I didn't really, I had the stickers, but I kind of wanted something that wasn't words just to add a little bit of extra embellishment here. Um, so I'm really far behind with Project Life. <laughs> 
surprise, surprise. Um, it may be because I take too many photos. It might just be that little fact. But you know what? I'm okay with it. I'll catch up. This March, as I've said in previous videos, was ridiculously hectic, like unbelievably hectic. And so every weekend for March, we were away um, with big functions, like a big hen's party, my birthday, a wedding, like really big giant things on. So that's why March is so full. Now, so far I've had an excuse for why every month is so full. <laughs> But I will let you know, April and May, now that I've done them, like, you know, lived them, they're not as busy as January, February and March. So I reckon I could squeeze April and May in one album, maybe one and a half, one and a third. I'm going to do it. It's going to happen. So here I'm just using some more of the Amy Tam florally paper just to... Um, matte a little photo and I print my photos someone asked me how I print them I print them using my Canon selfie um, I do have a pitch made as well which I do prefer but it's harder to get ink for because I can buy the Canon um, selfie ink at my local shopping center whereas the picture mate ink I have to buy online and it's a bit more expensive but the quality is better for the picture mate um, I might if you would like me to do a video comment down below um, comparing the picture mate and the Canon selfie like I can print the same photos and I can actually show you how to use the printers because some people might not have seen them or heard of them or know what on earth I'm talking about and I can also compare it to I've got a Polaroid zip printer as well um, and I can compare it to the Instax printer as well so let me know in the comments below if you'd like a printer video and I can do that for you so you can see there, I just cut out that hay there from the um, piece of paper. And I love when designers include papers like that. Amy was very clever with the papers that she included in this collection because so many of them, you can cut out sections to be embellishments or you can cut out words or you don't have to use them as just a whole patterned piece of paper. You can really manipulate them and make them be flexible to what you wanted them for. So this card, I knew as soon as I saw it, it would have to be for this photo. Um, it says adventure awaits. And I'm not really an adventure person. So when I may have been a bit biased in picking out some of the products for this Grab 5, because I knew I wasn't going to use this card for anything else. My idea of a perfect weekend is at home in my pajamas <laughs> with Netflix, YouTube, some cheese pizza, my love of my life, Aaron, the bunnies and not seeing anyone or going anywhere all weekend. That's my idea of a dream weekend. So that's that's pretty adventurous for me to actually be outside camping. So I knew I had to use it then because otherwise it won't get used. I've gotten into a habit of something. Let me fill you in. I've gotten into a habit of doodling a little outline on some of my cards um, I used to do it a while ago and I've been doing it in my art journaling and sometimes it's just nice just to give the card a bit of a boundary. I don't do it on all of them, just when I feel like it. Sometimes it just comes to me. Oh, P.S. Has anyone seen those amazing enamel dot, um, I think that, are they Novo? Nuvo? Nuvo? There's some sort of paint liquid thing in a bottle and you squeeze them onto a like greaseproof paper or baking paper and you can make your own enamel dots and I need some stat so I may have just purchased the glitter ones if you don't know what I'm talking about head over to Scrapaholics Anonymous we just had someone posted a huge post about it and there's been a couple of other people showing what they've made um, so I desperately need them I've got the I'm getting the glitter ones but I haven't got the I just want some solid ones as well but let me know if you've got them and what you think ah uh, now this card this card turned out to be a bit of a fail but I kept it in here so that you could see that not everything I do works out <laughs> works out right the first time so I wanted to do a bit of navy because I love navy and you know it's a picture of a boy and his caterpillar so <laughs> immediately I go for navy but I wrote on it with a white gel pen and it just looked rubbish. It, you couldn't see the writing properly because um, there was a pattern underneath and the pen didn't work properly and it just, 
the camera died as I was failing at this. So I come back, I've ripped it off and it was a fail. So I decide to instead um, cut out one of these little tags or like a little, it's like a little label box thingamajiggy, struggle with my double-sided sticky tape and put that on instead. And I like that much better. This freaking crazy caterpillar, right? We gave it a name, I can't remember what it was, but it just wouldn't leave us alone. We've never seen a caterpillar like it. It was bright orange and it just kept wanting to be involved with the party. And I kept trying to tell the caterpillar that it wasn't invited. And so this is um, my friend Patch, who is like six foot three, four, something like that, with this tiny giant caterpillar. <laughs> and I think in that photo, he was saying like, what, what, you want to fight? What? But um, sadly, the caterpillar lost, but we just rehomed him far, far away because we rehomed him once and then he came back or it might have been his twin brother, George, who knows, but we rehomed him really far away, like on the other side of the, um, the toilet block that was nearby. So thankfully he didn't come back. Now, this card was also in that um, Studio Calico little pack and I thought it was perfect. It says life was meant to be for good friends and great adventures, which this weekend definitely was. So here I'm using just some of the pattern paper to hand cut my own little heart and sticking that with a bit of foam, I do believe. Yep. Just so that it stands out a little bit. And there wasn't really on this particular page, there weren't really any stories to tell. Um, I guess the caterpillar story, but that's pretty boring and not very important. Um, but there, there wasn't much to say. So a lot of my journaling is on the other pages because this camping trip goes for about, oh, I'd say it's at least six pages, I would say, at least, if not more. Um, so I'm adding some of those chipboard words and they kind of worked out well with this one because I think they were meant to be, or maybe they were in like an autumn or fall. What do you, you call it fall in America, don't you? Autumn? Yeah. Why do you call it fall? Answer me that. Riddle me that, Americans, in the comments below. Um, they had these kind of autumn-themed words on those chipboard um, pieces, and it this actually was autumn, so it kind of worked out well. But I think they were like friends, and I did something else nice and cute. Anyway, I'm done, Ski. So I really like how this one turned out. This page protector is actually my favorite page protector for the 9x12 albums that I'm using but they're really hard to come by. Studio Calico has been sold out of them for ages and um, I desperately need some more. So if you if you see of them anywhere else or know where I can get them, let me know as well. Now I need to have a new term for fussy cutting. Hmm, let's call it unfussy cutting. No, that's silly. Let me know in the comments below another name that we could call, like I have my Heidi Shine, something else that we could call for fussy cutting, but with giant scissors. Let me know in the comments and I'll pick, I'll pick the one that made me giggle the most. Um, Cause it's not fussy cutting at all. It's clunky cutting really. Um, but yes, so that's the next one. That one with that mustached man will be the next grab five. So stick around for the Inky June Marathon. Give me a like if you're excited for the Inky June Marathon and hit that subscribe button. Bye.